Hey guys, and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, um, I picked up the MK38, uh, Hank MK38 last time, and uh, you guys saw me just ending the episode on it, and I just, you know, ran it around a bit, uh, ran it up a mountain, down a mountain, uh, did, I literally ran it until it ran out of fuel. This truck is fantastic. This is exactly what I want from an off-road truck. It has all-wheel drive always on. Uh, it has differential lock active always at all speeds of auto, so it just goes. Um, it has not that great of a fuel efficiency, nor a huge tank. It has only like 200 liters of fuel, which go through really fast if, you, uh, if you're not careful. Um, but what it and by the way the the flat sorry the sideboard uh, bed on the back is non-replaceable so you basically get two loads of cargo in this and that's it no more no less get wrecked that's the max that you get but that's the most the max that you need like why i would use an off-road truck to get it would be just you know do those very bad very poor deliver two things here and the road is horrid as hell you can also mount a trailer which is great um it's really powerful, uh, it just plows through snow like no one's business. It's a fantastic truck for off-road and I think, I mean, I think this just will supplant my um, my uh, Royale, my BM17. Um, just because it has French lock, I mean, fuel is a problem, sure, but uh, I'm not going to be using this for, you know, deep uh, territory cargo I'm gonna be keeping it around places where I have fuel for it but for what it does for this right for absolute this it just doesn't care this is more or less I guess the thickest snow that you could get in um, in SnowRunner I didn't even bother to put the off-road suspension uh, sorry the off-road gearbox on it just because uh, I didn't see the need for it. <laughs> uh, the fact that I can have all-wheel drive differential lock on in an auto gear, at this point, uh, there's no real use for me to use uh, low. I mean, if it gets into a situation where I actually need to use a low gear, <laughs> trust me, having plus or minus uh, some low gear slots wouldn't help. Uh, also, fuel efficiency. Uh, I, I kind of want, if I'm going to be using this, by the way, I did put on the race uh, suspension so at this point. I think it's uh, one engine away from the max engine. This is not even the max engine. This is the uh, memory is shoddy, but uh, the second engine, which I had unlocked for something else, uh, a 16V engine. And uh, what we're going to be doing right now, because you just saw me yap about this truck is we are going to uh, re refuel <laughs> and grab some metal beams to unlock the path the we have a path here i'll show you guys in a minute and also over on the map let's uh, switch off time there we go uh, we have this path here which will be our main path to get to Mo uh, white valley mountain river uh, just the basic path to uh, get cargo where it needs to go and access to Alaska so it just seems prudent to get that done now uh, I was going to go back to Pedro Bay uh, because <laughs> well uh, we ran out of fuel but before we ran out of fuel uh, like I don't know 10 20 liters we had in the tank uh, I just uh, tipped it over I finally managed to tip it over I have no idea how uh, and yeah uh, we still have to do, I really just realized that up that observation tower uh, where I just said I'm just gonna you know go, go and do a quick route well no <laughs> uh, up there there also was an upgrade and we didn't exactly manage to reach it because we had so much fun ro rolling it around so we'll have to uh, go back there and get that solved uh, may actually still do it in uh, today's episode 
uh, just make this a whole MK38 episode uh, highlight because man, this truck is amazing. Why are... Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, I uh, took a left instead of taking a right and just went through mindlessly blabbing about this truck. We should actually be here. <laughs> I was wondering why uh, we had to switch maps. But, you know, that just goes to show how excited I am about this truck. It's not like, hey, okay, this is 5% uh, better than that one, so yeah, I guess we can use this one, and this one has some tiny little roll bar. No. No. Absolutely not. Uh, also, I jammed a spare tire under the under the back there. If nothing else, I'm not sure if it adds weight or not, but if it adds weight, that's fantastic, because that uh, allows us to be more um, down to the ground. say um, when I you know when I played with it it had the off-road tires the well, mud tires single tires which was really great in snow um, this is the first time actually I'm using it with the chain tires on it and given the fact that it's an off-road truck and ice is only a thing on roads as far as I got uh, I am kind of thinking that Maybe I should be sticking with uh, the single treads for this extremely off-road truck. I mean, I'm not going to be using it on highways all that much at all, really. Uh, we need metal beams, right? Let's double check the metal beams is exactly what we need for rock obstacle. Uh, that's it, says a tracking. Metal beams type 1, right? And there are no special metal beams except for this ones. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe of switching the tires back to single mud tires. But uh, again, for a truck that you need to get from point A to point B, ignoring everything that's on the way, uh, this is uh, probably the best one while also car uh, carrying uh, two loads of cargo. On uh, that note, by the way, uh, I have been reading online, I think I read that the um, Caterpillar 45 c you know, the heavy truck that had like the, the hinge in the front of the cab, can st still carry two loads of cargo, even if it's not uh, containers. That's, uh, I, I, I don't know, it seems weird because I haven't really seen any spaces for cargo i'll have to actually physically take it out and check to see if it can load any cargo it should be like a quick check but i really want to do that uh it'll being able to load to load the cargo may well i would have said that it, it would feel a role for me for uh heavy cargo heavy terrain cargo haul but the minute we just unlock this i don't really think that that will be better than this especially like given the weight it will sink into mud and stuff a lot more than this does just because it's so heavy so um i'll check to see if that's an option but um, i think i'm sticking to the mk uh, 38 for general heavy roads um heavy nasty roads uh crossing Why you would want why that differential is important is that you can build up speed and you would that differential would help you keep that speed up while going over terrain so uh, you'd get better speed over if you end up like we did uh, in some points here at two out of five three out of five at a high range By the way, this is using 51-inch tires. I mean, 51-inch tires are more or less the 
the biggest tires you can fit on stuff in uh, the game. Uh, even the BT-17, the Royale, can fit uh, 51 inch tires if I'm not mistaken. Uh, with the upgraded suspension, which we did put on it. The one we unlocked uh, in the last episode. But again, the lack of a differential on it would just make it... Mm, I'm not, I'm, I haven't checked inside the game's files to see weight. Oh, we could have gone the other way. Oh well, doesn't matter. More off-road footage of the MK. <laughs> Um, that, this seems, I guess, lighter than the BT, and we did run the BT with the sideboard the bed on it, so it's one-to-one -one comparable. The only actual issue this truck has is indeed the, the fuel tank usage, the fuel tank and, I guess, the fuel usage. Um, it really burns through it. I mean, we are at a half a ca half a tank of gas. We are rolling at 16 liters a minute. <laughs> um, so definitely, this should not stay w far from uh, any kind of uh, refueling points. to the delivery point. Cargo management. Let's clear that up. We are almost level 40. Uh, you're really making a name for yourself, aren't you? Driver, I feel safer just knowing you're in town. Awesome. That's what I do. Make people safe. I hope these uh, rocks will also get cleared up uh, when we reload the map. kind of really hope that. That clears up this path for us to uh, freely use with uh, the art trucks without worrying uh, to go through that uh, monkey part which we went down here with. Went down here on. Uh, let's. Uh, let's refuel. <laughs> I think that's going to be a pattern with this truck, but let's refuel, and then we head back to Pedro Bay. And then we can unlock that extra um, upgrade, which I have no idea what it is, and also complete that little quest we had on top of the top of the hill. I did give it the, the desert camel uh, because it was uh, one of the options and it seems cool to have this little uh, dichotomy of uh, horribly white snow in Alaska and you coming in with a desert <laughs> camel truck. It's, uh, it's fun. And we do like to have fun in this game, don't we? I know I make... Uh, I seem really grouchy and really negative towards the game oftentimes, but uh, that's just me being uh, extra negative uh, because the game has so much potential. Okay, uh, we need to head, yeah, we kind of uh, We need to go through Mountain River. I'm still uh, learning the um, how the maps are tied in together because given the fact they have these uh, tunnels so close by, so basically the areas aren't really limited per se. You could consider it more or less they have the same hub. Just makes it a bit uh, hard to remember. Okay, and from here we have to go to Pedro Bay. And yeah, I think it would be shorter to go through uh, 
Northport, but it is what it is. Let's uh, let's head through, and we will have a fuel station on the way. Yeah, forgot about this one. We can just uh, refuel their their again. Again. <laughs> Uh, keep these sections in my episodes anymore, you know, the, the raw travel sections, just to keep you guys uh, off of the boring part, but uh, I don't know, I just feel like uh, showing guys how, uh, how the MK38 runs. Oh, we have a fuel station here? Oh, we do. I swear, Mountain uh, River is chock full of fuel station and uh, trailer stores and, and service points and <laughs> it's uh, quite insane. Did we make this bridge or was this bridge already here? you actually have uh, all-wheel drive and differential lock always active as mentioned on these high speeds uh, your chain tires also gives you a better grip uh, because you are actually using uh, your tires at you know uh, all your tires when going out four out of five and making full contact with the ground via the differential lock just uh, themselves them applying themselves properly game did update I don't know what changed uh, right now I'm stick I stuck with uh, the initial version for a long time just because I saw so many up of the updates that uh, were uh, more or less uh, rushing to fix things and I just want to keep a stable game for the first part of the series but now that I switch over to uh, all the minor increments in updates I keep seeing them getting updated and uh, I keep uh, you know putting stuff on it that may not be true like how the differential may have been, uh, differential calculus may, may have been a bit uh, fudged. And I haven't seen any differential uh, issues today. In the last, I think the last few episodes you guys saw differential getting uh, strained quite a fair bit. Which was something I hadn't seen before. Okay, let's have a little look here. Uh, we have to get up of this mountain, so uh, for us it's here, 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 uh, through here, there we go, and then just follow it up. Let's hope uh, the truck is not too wide to go through this. Uh, Morrison's landslide, the thing here. Uh, you know, if that's something we kind of really want to do if we, when we're going to be heading into Alaska proper. Uh, it's literally that. It's a huge boulder in the middle of the road. It's uh, heavily blocking. It's not like uh, the, la the thing we solved earlier with the metal beam. Just basically, it was a thing of comfort, not a silly of need. You could really entirely go around it without too much of an issue or hassle. Easy 
there. And another thing, uh, having dualies in the back, dual uh, tire, traction tires in the back, causes issues like that sometimes, where you're gripping a bit of a, of a thing where you really don't want to grip. Oh wow, also this is such... Such a tiny little thing. Wow. I was gonna say that you're gripping things with tires, like little rocks or stuff that you may you may not want to grip, and the other ones are ever slightly slimmer. But I'm gonna stop talking now and concentrate on this road because this is insane. Last time I tried getting up here, it was basically straight up, but. I didn't see that these rocks are here, so you actually have to go all the way around. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the MK38. Okay, no, 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 no. Let's be careful here. Let's get this so slightly. There we go. There we go. That was scary, but I, I, didn't, I didn't feel scared in this. It's stable somehow. I don't know how, but it's really stable. Compared to, I mean, we have so many tips in the police star and the pay star. This is quite stable. Let's see what this upgrade is because this is why we actually decided to actually take guys back here. Oh, uh, Westline V16. Uh, which was this for? Uh, the caterpillar and the twin steer. Okay, I guess uh, we're not really using the twin steer that much, but uh, okay. Mm. I kind of would have wanted the top engine for the anchor, to be honest. But, oh well, let's uh, get this quest done. Better than I expected. We should set up lights on the communication mass so people can see it from afar. Better have some someone posted on lookout for wannabe adventurer types. Well, um, you, I think that's kind of a regulation <laughs> on tall towers to have uh, those uh, lights, just so you don't have uh, uh, helicopters or planes just running into it. But uh, I'm gonna skip on realism for that uh so anything else we have an option to do here right now yeah for sure consumables are not in here so let's uh hmm, let's head down there's nothing else we can really do here right do we not have any upgrades nope uh yeah i guess uh, by this point we should probably head to White Valley, right? Uh, head over to White Valley and get that resolved. We're probably gonna have some fun coming up this mountain because we don't really need to physically go to White Valley. We can just go back to Northport and head out from there. So we'll probably just jump this truck off this mountain. <laughs> what better uh, way to uh, highlight this truck than to throw it off a mountain? see what's a good path okay so I think it's a good path through here so let's head there okay, yes it does it ooh, ooh, ooh. huh hmm well about that I think uh, this is as good as point as any to uh, uh, stop this episode a bit early, but uh, we've done a lot of long episodes by this point. Let's keep a shorter one in the pipe. Anyways, guys, this was the MK38. <laughs> and again, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one.